You see those over there? You see them? Yeah. Right here? <laughs> they have done absolutely nothing wrong, but they're blue. <laughs> I've always hated the color blue. You know why? Why? No reason. <laughs> With all that being said, we have to kill them. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to beat Former Kerrigan Challenge 3 in Empires of the Undergrowth on Impossible Difficulty. And you can skip to that bit in the timestamp that I will put on screen right now. And before that I'm going to go over what upgrades that you should have. So, um, for the, my Queen I just have Royal Guard and Second Wind. Workers have Efficient Brood and Nimble. Black Ants have Meat Wall and I haven't chosen the second thing yet. In previous videos I recommended not using Black Ants. I've since changed my mind on that because... Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Wood Ants have Corrosive and Crippling. And now we have Leaf Cutter Majors. So, there's two variants, Stun and Taunt. There's not that much of a difference between them, but taunts are slightly better. They're like 10 to 20% better, maybe. It's not a huge bonus, but it, it is a bonus. Um, so, like, you can use stuns if you want, but taunts can give you the boost you need to push yourself over the edge. Don't take that out of context. For the special abilities, I would recommend... There's two options, Durable and Shockproof. All incoming damage reduced by 3 cannot go, go below half a point of damage and cannot take more than 20 damage in a single attack. I highly recommend Shockproof because um, if an enemy is doing an, if an enemy is doing small enough damage that 3 is a significant reduction, it's not a threat to begin with and there's quite a lot of very strong enemies that can deal mo a lot more than 20 damage. So if you do this, then you cap out at 20 damage. So I'd recommend that. For the other ability, there is two area of effect abilities that affect this ant and any ants near it, or any allies near it. So if you were to m use a mod to add Devil's Coach Horses to your form carrying, which is not possible without modding, then it would affect them as well. Um, also, that happens in Battle Arena, I believe. So, there's two options, Sharp and Resilient. So, this and nearby creatures reflect 30% of damage back to the damaging creature, or this and nearby creatures take 30% less damage. I prefer Resilient, you can choose whichever you like, but I prefer, I always prefer to take less damage, well, almost always, especially since Leaf Cutters are already pretty tanky, um, and reflecting 30% of damage is isn't it's not very much especially since uh the only time that's going to be a significant amount of damage is on enemies that do a ton of damage which are usually big enemies that already have a lot of health so 30 percent extra damage or 30 percent reflected damage isn't that much also with resilient takes 50 or takes 30 percent less damage if you combine that with the meat wall from uh black ants then this reduces incoming physical damage by 50%. So 50 plus 30 is 80. I had to calculate that. 80% less damage. That is why I recommend using these, because they take 80% less damage, and they're way cheaper. They're a third the price of majors. So you can make a few majors and then a ton of uh, black ants. And as for this, self-preservation is good if you're doing a lot of combat. Self-repair is good if you have a decent amount of downtime in between fights, like just collecting food or waiting for nighttime to be over or anything like that, whatever you have, whatever situation you happen to be in. So, and um, I've never mentioned this before, but these plus signs allow you to give small stat increases to your ants, and uh, each improvement costs more than the last one regardless of what type it is. So if I spend all my points in health, then it'll cost like, I don't know, 300 per improvement. Even if I start, even if I switch to a different category. Um, so I'm not gonna, I would not bother doing these until 
like the end of the game when you already know what kind of playstyle you want and how the mechanics work and you're ready for new game plus because it gets very expensive very fast and there's no way to refund those points so with that out of the way let's go ahead and get to the uh form carrying challenge i always want to click menu for some reason so possibly the final experiment you'll notice i haven't done frontline on impossible with challenge yet and you'll notice i haven't uploaded a video on that just because it's crazy hard so i'm skipping it for the time being so difficulty impossible an unprepared colony will not oh yeah i need to show you my uh setup so i have two groups of black ants all level three two groups of wood ants all level three two groups of uh leaf cutter majors one of them is plus three leaf cutter majors uh one group is fully upgraded where is it this one this is fully upgraded this one is not fully upgraded but i think i should be strong enough to do this challenge so let's start it i'm afraid we've ran out of time it doesn't matter if the nest isn't perfect run the experiment then clear out the specimens and bleach the equipment yes yes i know i'm doing it and when you are finished here i think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory what was that? Nothing. Nothing. Starting the experiment. Good. Let me know when you have a result. Okay, my little ants. This is it. The winner will have the privilege of joining me for the ultimate test. The real final experiment. The loser will be relegated to the waste disposal. The four macariums are connected. Let the war commence! Alright, so the strategy here is to camp most of your force right here at the entrance or the exit to the tunnel, but still under the class. And then you're going to send out part of your army, maybe like half or something, with ideally not too many majors. And they're going to do the fighting at the beginning. And once you've killed a certain amount of I don't know exactly what triggers it. It's, I don't know if it's based on time or how many uh, ants you kill or what. But at some point, he's going to start squishing your ants. And that's why we're keeping most of our ants behind. Because he can't squish us when we're here. So we're going to wait for him to finish his first round of squishing. And then we're going to send everybody in. And that's going to cause food to respawn. I don't know if it's possible to uh, do this without losing an ant. Actually, I think it is. I think I saw a video where a guy did that. But uh, it's pretty difficult, so I wouldn't even bother trying. That's a thing for challenge runs. So now our goal is to get into the nest as quickly as possible. But we're not going to rush the queen just yet. So we're almost there getting close well okay maybe we're not close but we're, we are making progress really the only threat that we have to worry about is the uh, army ant majors because of their stacking damage buff uh, stun uh, leaf cutter majors are actually pretty good against that they're good against army ant are army ant majors and pretty much nothing else well not nothing but they're not as good as taunts because taunts have the ability to heal which is massive so taunts are better for most things and unfortunately we did not manage to get here in time to uh, prevent him from squishing everyone so what we're going to do is separate our ants as much as possible to try and reduce casualties <laughs> now we're going to bring everybody back here. We've still lost quite a lot of ants, unfortunately. Not much we can do about that. This is honestly the hardest experiment in the game, or the hardest uh, formicarium challenge in the game. 
And before we continue, I'm actually going to pause and wait for my ants to group up again. Oh, some of them have gotten in. As you can see, we've killed most of their guys, so that's pretty good. If you look at their food stores, you can actually mouse over to see how much they have. They have, like, none. We're doing good. You will need, I'd say, at least a thousand food. Assuming you have a decent amount of, uh, majors. You'll probably need at least a thousand food to get through this. And you probably don't have to min-max it. And... As you can see, they have a royal guard, which is uncool for us. Hopefully we can get inside the nest before they can come out. There we go, now we can enter the nest, that's good. So we're actually gonna camp here for a bit. Now normally the royal guard will initiate uh, when you're attacking the queen with your main force. This time it didn't because I managed to get one ant through and I guess he damaged the queen a bunch. But if we go in all the way, then we're going to have ants attacking from all directions really fast all at once. We want to prevent them from grouping up. So that's why we're fighting in this corridor. So they all have to come like from over here to get to us. And I think this is the army ant. Yeah, that's the army ant tile. Uh, group, nest, brood, chamber, thingy, majigger, doodle, bob. So now that we have all those guys taken care of. Oh yeah, he gives them free food as well. He gives them free food and he squishes us. That's blatant favoritism. He's completely skewing the scientific results. Even though we have objectively stronger ants. Now real quick, uh, there's a couple things you can do when invading enemy nests. You can turn combat off, wait for your ants to get to the queen and then turn it back on. But this only works if there's not very many enemies. If there's too many enemies then you'll just get past a couple of them and then stop being able to move and you'll be surrounded and just die so don't do that if there's a ton of enemies instead i would just camp like maybe around here or back here like i did and wait for them to run low um also if you do get to the queen before you kill all the ants i would actually uh turn off combat and um, or if you're close to the queen and there's ants, turn off combat, go to the queen, wait for your the majority of your army to get there, then turn it on so you can deal a ton of damage at once. Uh, this doesn't work if she has royal guard active, so it's better to do what I did and just send a couple in. Trigger royal guard once it's been wasted, send everyone else in and squish her. I knew my riffers would prevail. Now we can prepare for the real. Have you finished yet? Uh, yes. Our reptiles have dominated the former carrier. Wonderful. I expect a full report by the end of the week. For now, you can start by clearing away. Make sure anything contaminated with that jelly goes straight to the incinerator. Yes, yes, very good. I apparently have not beaten this uh, form of carrying challenge since they added achievements to it, which is kind of crazy. Always royal jelly as usual it's going to be some dialogue ah, jelly to the incinerator the jelly is for my hands and no one is going to take it away from me so we can no longer go into the enemy colony which is a shame why are where is everyone going get over here i guess the uh markers disappear where is everyone going Oh, they must have food. Yeah, they're collecting food. Okay, my bad. Uh, yeah, we want to collect all this food before we switch to the next formicarium. And... Because uh, if you don't collect the food, you don't get score for it. And your score is converted to royal jelly upon going to a new formicarium. Also, you'll notice we have territory here. You get royal jelly for every amount of territory you have. You do not get royal je jelly for places you have already dug out. So I overestimated how many ants I was going to have, dug out an extra chamber that I didn't need, and so I'm going to get a little bit less royal jelly. Not a ton, but a little bit. So try not to dig out stuff. Like, try try to dig out as little as you need, but it's not, it's not, if you do end up using a ton of this, it's not that big a deal, and we have plenty. I mean, look at all this. Nope, don't. Okay. Yeah, we can afford to dig out a ton 
and we still have plenty left over. So again, it's not a huge deal. I just prefer to min-max when I'm using, when I'm playing on Impossible, which is most of the time these days. So the next few uh, videos are going to be, the, the tutorial's over, I'm just going to talk about the series for now. So you can, you can leave now if you want, but if you want to hear about the rest of the tutorials, uh, you'll notice I skipped Frontline. That's because Frontline is so difficult on Impossible that it is pretty much impossible. And Challenge Mode does not make it any easier, especially since Forward Flies are probably the worst, second worst Challenge Mode enemy. Uh, so Frontline will come either when they nerf it and make it reasonably doable by human beings, or when I get good and find a strategy that actually consistently works. Because I can beat it right now, but not very consistently. So for now, I'm skipping Frontline and going to the others. Because I've, I've practiced Frontline, like, how many times now? Like, at least 20, just since the last tutorial video. And I've won, like, 1 out of 10 games. And it seems to be largely luck-based, honestly, because I really feel like I'm not doing anything different on the runs I win as opposed to the runs I lose, but whatever. If you have any, if the, if you have any tips for Frontline, please tell me in the comments, because I'm a good tutorial YouTuber that needs the people watching my tutorial videos to tell me how to play the game, even though I'm the guy that's supposed to be doing that. But... It's just for that level, so I'm. I really wanted to get to the other levels because the other levels are easy as pot. Once you beat Form Carrying Challenge Three, the game is pretty much smooth sailing till the last couple levels. And um, other than those, the rest of the levels are very easy. If you can beat the Harvest Frontline and Form Carrying Challenge Three, you're good. You're golden. So I think that's it for this video. Next video will be on Cold Blood. And I think that is all I have to say. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. If it did, then that's great. If it didn't, please let me know why in the comments. It, or at, le at the very least, let me know that it didn't help. And if you can, try and let me know exactly what I did wrong and how I can improve it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.